Hey y'all, welcome back. So this is a little bit different video. I have got the uh, a trade show coming up, uh, the Texas Woodworkers Festival in November. And uh, so I thought I'd just capture um, on, on video uh, the booth display that I'm gonna do for the trade show. So um, I'll catch it on time-lapse, pretty easy. Never made one before, but I sketched out a few drawings. So I just thought it'd be interesting to capture this as well as the route to uh, the, the festival and uh, just kind of put a video together for all of that. So y'all stick around. you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I've got uh, some one by threes. I needed to keep this thing lightweight. So I've got a one by three here and a one by three here, and then a, <clears throat> a one by two in between for a slot. And you'll see why I have the slot when I put the cedar pickets in. But I'm gonna make four of these. Uh, I've got a booth display that needs to be approximately eight foot uh, in length, um, but I also want the two separate pieces. So you'll see. So there we go. I've got two, two eight foot panels. Uh, that's uh, fencing. I use that cedar uh, fencing. They're gonna have to stand separate. <clears throat> They're nice and balanced. Um, the booth that I have at the, um, at the Woodworkers Festival is eight feet wide. So uh, if you were wondering why uh, I made this some uh, these this size. That's why, because I've got plenty of room. Uh, these are just under um, <clears throat> four feet each. Um, so I am going to hit them with a sander, 80 grit sandpaper. Uh, just take some of the edges off um, <clears throat> on the sides, and then I'm going to burn this thing a little bit. Not the cedar. The cedar I actually want to keep just like that, um, but the uh, framework I'm going to burn. So we'll catch that on video. So I just take the orbital sander with an 80 grit sandpaper just to knock the sharp edges off. I'm not trying to get this super smooth, uh, just cleaned up. All right, so these planks actually slide out. Uh, I've, got, I've got the, uh, they're attached up here. You can see that I've just got a, a one by four there. Um, but that way, that way I can transport this in the truck um, and it's not so bulky and awkward, plus I can store it easier. So now all I'm gonna do is just take this little propane torch and I'm just gonna hit, I'm gonna hit all the frames like this, okay? And just get some of the grain to pull out. Um, I'm gonna have to remove the, the cedar boards because I don't want those burnt. I just want the frame burnt. Uh, if this takes too long, I'll bring out that big one and uh, I've got that bigger torch and uh, this will get the job done, but you get the idea, right? So, I don't know if you can see that grain. It looks really good like that, and uh, you just put a little bit of finish or not. Doesn't have to have any kind of finish on it for this purpose anyway. So, hopefully you'll see the final product here in a little bit. All right, it's burn time, baby.
Okay, so now it's just time to reassemble. I've got these things burnt down. I like the finish. I don't have to put a gloss on it or any kind of sealer. Uh, this is gonna be maybe twice a year, three times a year that I use this stuff. So I'm really not super worried about it. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I'm going to recharge my phone and then I'll show you the finished product. All right, well, that's it for now. I gotta put them in the garage, <clears throat> but, uh, <laughs> and I'm running out of room. But <clears throat> I'll have a display like that and hang some, I'll hang a couple of pieces of driftwood here. Uh, I've also got a, you know, my logo <clears throat> that we'll have up here. So it should look pretty good. Um, it turned out really nice, <clears throat> all the coloring. This is actually the front. So uh, more to come once we get closer to uh, the Woodworkers Festival.